Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. I almost forgot what game we were playing. Um, last time we discovered this grass man here, and apparently he's going to die unless we bring him almost a million gold or an Uparupa. I have no idea why we're doing this, but that's what the plot has directed us to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, now... Before going on and actually trying to help this guy, I'm going to make a controversial decision, and I'm going to do a side quest right now. First, I'm going to enter a random battle against some new enemies here, beetles. So let's just go ahead and take care of these guys. I still can't use those spells with cat, which is kind of annoying, but you know, let's do that. Do we can do it here. Let's try this shot with bow. We haven't done that in a while. So yeah, she's your physical attacks on these guys. Ow! Uh-oh. They're building up their power. I hope, it just, I hope it isn't like it's a... Okay, it didn't work. I hope it's not like one of those defend attacks from Seventh Saga. Y'all yeah, remember that game. Boom! Yeesh! Whew, I was like, I hope they don't hit Cat again. That would just be... That would be annoying. Yeah, good shot there, Bo. Okay, we should be able to take these guys off pretty quick, man. I really need to get Jean a better weapon or something. Because he is just not doing so good. Okay, got him. That's it? Yeesh, not a lot of experience, but I did get some money, which was good. Ooh, and I'm going to get to hunt right away. Alright, so yeah, let's get Bo going. Get him in the lead. Yeah, we still have the same enemy. Same, no, not really enemy same monsters we can hunt. You know, that one one got away. So let's see if we can get this other one going here. Oh, come back here. Come on. Come on. Nope, nope. You're going the wrong way. Come on. Get out of here. Nope. You, no. Oh! You suck. Alright. Let's get Cat back. Let's get Cat back in the lead. She's the only one somewhat capable of doing stuff. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to make a controversial decision. I'm going to do a side quest. Because, really, now that we have access to the world map, I see no reason in not doing side quests now. And my theory has always been that, and those of you who have seen me LP know that I believe this, that if the game gives you access to get to do some things out of the out of the ordinary or out of order, I say do it. Because if you're smart enough to figure out a way to get more advancements in the game, then I say do it. Now, me doing this is going to take a little bit of luck and a little bit of strategy to make sure that I don't screw this up. And that I don't run into a, ran into a random battle here. Okay, let me show you where I am. I'm on the southeastern part of the world here. And you can access this area with the whale. Now, I believe that I have a smoke available. I want to use one of those for sure. Uh, yeah, because I want to meet the enemy less for sure. Okay, now, my goal is to make it to this whirlpool. Okay, and I made it. Good. Man, we have these spirits here. I recognize these guys from Breath of Fire 1. Blue? Wait, is Blue in this game? No. She couldn't possibly be here. Could she be? Apparently, yeah, apparently there's cold water here. But yeah, I mean, I remember Blue from Breath of Fire 1. She was a badass. She would just dominate everything. Now we get another Tolan. Let's see what this spirit has to say. Blue is so irresponsible. How is she irresponsible? And if we open this here, we get a condition up. So let's see what that does. Uh, let's see if I can find it down there. Be in the best condition. I'm not sure what that means yet, but we'll... We'll go over that a little bit later. Okay, and I, ooh, I really need to sell some things. Okay, so anyways. Alright, now once you've visited this area, and it says that Blue is not here, well, we gotta see if we can find her. Because that'd be kind of nice to have her on my team. And fortunately, I know exactly where to go. Now, you need to have warp in order to be able to accomplish... Well, you don't really need to, but it helps to have uh, warp to do this. So now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to warp to home team. And if we go here, I'll go back into hometown here. 
and I want to make my way up to the magic school. Now again, well I say again, but I really have no idea how you're supposed to know how to do any of this. But I believe if you enter here, is this the right? Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay. There, that's not where I need to go. Uh, I guess it's on the second floor then. Ah, here it is. Okay. Now, if you go over here on the second floor, you'll notice that this woman on the left, she doesn't really do anything. So let's talk to her. Get what back? I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. Do we need anybody? Uh, well, I'd love to have somebody that's really good. Whoa! And she's blue! And this is the legendary magician Blue! And all of a sudden, Blue forcefully joins our team! And all of a sudden, we've got a new party member! Hoo-hoo! Level 35? Yeah, you're coming with me for sure. Let's throw Blue into the mix. And how about Bo? Sure. Well, yeah, because he does he's doing better than Jean right now. So, let's take these guys. Let's get our order going. All right, and everything's well and good. And now we've got the legendary Magician Blue, and she just randomly joins our team. Now, I really don't think you're supposed to get her until much later in the game, but let's check her out. I mean, look at that. She's got 330,000 experience, uh, level 35. Look at those stats. I mean, she's got 148 uh, in wisdom. I mean, wow, that's just awesome. Let's check out her spells. Oops. Yeah, she's got all these spells, which are uh, so a good mix of of uh, black magic there, and she can warp, and she can exit, so I mean, she is just so helpful. So now, again, we don't need to have Jean in our party right now. And to travel the world, we can just use, uh, we can use uh, her ability to not have to have Jean on our team, so that's great. So there you go. So again, you may, you probably aren't, I know you're not supposed to get her until much later in the game, but like I said, you know, I'm under the impression that if a game lets you to do it now, and you figured out how to do it, I say do it. Why not? This will make things go a lot smoother for us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to warp to hometown, I'm sorry, to township, I'm going to heal up. Get going with, uh, get my characters in the right way. Do a little bit of swapping of the shamans, and then I'm going to warp back to Tunlin, and then we will continue on with the journey. Meet you there. Okay, we're outside of Township, and I want to go, go over a couple of things before we continue. Uh, I made a couple upgrades to my equipment. I got the burn knife for uh, Rand there, and I also fused uh, Sana with him, or Sana with him, to increase his attack power even more. And then for Blue, we gave her a fire ring, uh, just to give her a little bit of boost of attack power. Her starting equipment, actually, for how advanced she is, uh, isn't that great. I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing, but it's nothing huge, so, so it's kind of interesting in that regard. All right, uh, I think we're good everything else. Ooh. Guts, boot, what does that do? Yeah, increasing guts. Actually, that must be not too bad. He needs guts. Uh, she doesn't have any, and he doesn't have any, so I'd like to have some for a ring. So let's give him some guts there. So that'll be nice. And there's not too much, that's fine. The other thing that I want to do is I want to show you guys the uh, condition up. So as you can see, we use condition is super, so he's in great shape. Uh, Cats is good, so she's doing all right. And then uh, Blues is okay, and Rance is okay. So this is going to be using Blue for pretty much the rest of the game. I want to make her condition up. Basically what a condition does is it, in general if your condition is better you do more damage and you can take more damage. So it's kind of a boost in your attack and defense. And now hers is super. So blue is now going to be in even better shape than she already is. She's just going to be a freaking tank. And I just, that's just awesome. Okay. So now, oops. Now let's warp to uh, Tunlin. do next. Alright. By the way, the weapons that you can acquire in Tunlin um, are weaker than the ones that you can acquire at uh, Township there. Okay. So, what we want to do is now go up this way here. 
basically just start making our way east um, to the next area. We'll pass a bunch of areas that we are uh, that we've seen before. Well, not this area. This is a new area. We may come back to that later. But let's just keep going east for right now. Yeah, you may re recognize some of this area. There's the Joker Gang from the original uh, part of, the, of our journey. And there's a little cave right here that we can enter with uh, Grandpa. So let's do that. Ooh, and it puts us into a cave with some interesting new music. Let's make sure that our uh, party is in, in good shape. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. We got a new enemy here, a stinger. So let's see, uh, let's see what, what Blue can do here. Uh, let's try freeze. Ooh, good shot, Cat. Haha! Woo! Yeah, good shot. Now I'm not really. I mean, having Blue on the team will be nice, uh, but I'm more concerned about her multi-targeting attacks than I'm about her single target attacks. And we'll go over that here in a little bit. Um, also, I'll show you this here too. You can actually use the fire ring uh, in battle. Or Cat can... Oh, oh, oh. Or Cat can just take them out in one shot. Which is an even better plan. I like that. And we got some more new enemies here. Serenes. Is that a mistranslation for Siren? I don't know. But okay, let me show you this. Um, the fire ring there, you can use it, and I believe it casts Spark on the enemy. Yeah, so that's a way for you to cast Spark uh, without having to... without having to uh, pay any MP for it. Okay, and uh, let's try... what else we got? I guess let's just do S boom. Okay, again, we might not need it, but no, yeah, we didn't need it. So there you go. Man, we get some really good experience in this cave, so that's really nice. And we get some more gold, which is basically a fishing lure, which is kind of strange. Okay, and now we want to go over here to the left. And face off against some more new enemies here. A Rubens. Uh, and actually, for this one, we're going to want to spread out our attack. Because now I'm going to have Blue cast Dancing with Thunder and S-Boom on everybody. Now, I know Nina can cast S-Boom, but she just doesn't have as much AP as Blue does. And so, I want to uh, exploit that. Plus, Blue's just got more HP. So, she's just generally in much better shape. And, she's actually a hidden character. An optional character to get. You don't need her to complete the game. So, that makes her just that much special. Plus, she was also one of my favorite characters in the original Breath of Fire. So, there you are. And just another stinger here. Yeah, I guess. A lot of the, the random battles in this area, um, I'll be able to go through real quickly. So, I'm, I'm just probably just going to leave them in. Uh, because I can go through them so fast. And the encounter rate in this area is really high. And we get a quarter staff. I bet I can equip that on Cat. So, let's see if that's any better. Nope. It's actually not as good. See, there you go. One thing I do like about this game is even though the encounter rate tends to be really high, um, you definitely have opportunities to uh, to get yourself into a position to be successful with different kind of attacks you can get early on. So. There you go. Again, I do like that multi-targeting attack uh, from Blue. That's going to make things make my life a lot easier, especially when you have to face like five houseflies and stuff like that. Man, what's up with this encounter? Ugh! Didn't go so well. You know, I think I forgot to buy some items too. I did. I always forget to buy items in these games. Sometimes I just forget about that. I think someone made a comment about that last time. And I do need to do a better job of remembering to purchase items to help us out in our journey, especially those, especially life PLs. Okay, so now we should be able to take these guys out real quick. Yeah, reuse it. Excellent shit. See, even Blue with her attack power is actually not that bad. So 
I really like that. Okay, and now we want to head up this way. And up through this part. How are our characters able to breathe underwater anyways? It seems like they spend most of their time underwater. But, uh, yeah, let me talk a little bit more about Blue. I know I'm talking about Blue a lot in this, in this episode, but that's fine. Um, I think I mentioned earlier, one perfect example of doing things when you're not supposed to is back in the original Final Fantasy. Uh, I believe the game intended you to go to the Goo Goo Volcano first, but I always, whenever I play, do my playthroughs of that game, I will always go to the uh, Ice Cave first because I want to get an airship. And when you can get the airship right away, uh, you do that. Because I think the sages tell you to go to the fire cave first. Uh, once you get the canoe. But, like I said, I don't like doing that. Uh, wait. Okay, go there, there. That's pretty cool. Um, but I just don't like doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of that plan. Because I just want to be able to travel the world faster. Ooh. The blue's still a work in progress, but we'll get her there. Okay, now we want to we go down this way first. Take this chest, and we get an ocean robe. And I bet we can, we can equip that on blue. Yeah, big increase there. So that'll be good. Can I give her a robe? No, I can't. Might be able to give that to Nina, though. All right, very good. Now we want to go up this way. Now. Uh, before entering this cave, you want to make sure that you have uh, t at least 1,200 coins. And now we've got some hunters here. Ooh, looks like Gobi. I am. Oh, what do you mean we can't catch them? Can't catch that. Challenge accepted. All right. Let's take out these stingers. We'll cut the Reuben, and then we will just put on the finishing touches. Because that's just what she does. Oh! Yeah, nice shot there, Blue. I guess one of the only downsides about Blue is that we won't be able to gain her some like a level for a really long time. Which is fine. Because again, we've got a bunch of other characters that we can use. So, how is it that these monsters... We have these, we have these monsters roaming around in a cave, and these guys just stand in there. And, but they don't attack them. Uh, sure. Okay, you put some f food in front of the hiding place. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, I guess that makes sense. But we don't have any Oopa Oopa food. It's not that I know of. So there you go. We do need to get, uh... We need to get a uh, reduced speed up somehow so that he can get attacks faster. So we'll have to work on that, maybe getting some agility boots or something like that for him. I mean, how close are we to a level? I feel like we're doing really well on experience points. I know it's divided amongst the four party members, but not bad. Uh, Rand's pretty close. Okay. And another one of these guys. Quite. Oh! How is it that uh, a serpent can be walking on land, anyways? It's kind of weird. Because Blue's kind of like half man, half serpent. Uh, a thousand coins. Oof. Sure. That's again why you need uh, all those coins. Okay, so let's keep making our way through here. Let me check my nose, make sure we're doing good. Okay. If we go up here. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Okay. And now we're starting to see a lot of holes and a lot of eyes in there. But which... How are we going to be able to catch the Oopa Roopa? What will happen when we finally do that? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. Tell them this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out the donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.